All right. Now it's your turn. Here is an example of work and power calculations that you may see on the tax test. As a matter of fact, you'll see in a minute when you write them down, they're related. So go ahead and pause the video, write them down, plug the answers into the formula, see what answer you get, and we'll come back and try them together. All right, a workload of 525 joules is used to move a box 18.6 meters. What is the force? Work, I see work right there. Work equals force times distance. Again, write the formula, plug the numbers where they go. A workload of 525 joules used to move a box 18.6 meters. What is the force? That works out exactly right. There's my equal sign. And that's a time sign. To solve this problem, I want to use, leave x there. And since I want to have x there, that means I have to divide by 18.6. So that's gone. And I divide over here by 18.6 as well. So it's 5, grab my handy dandy calculator, 525 divided by 18.6. The answer I get, 28.2, 28.2 newtons. If you don't get the unit, it doesn't matter as long as you can get the number. So that one works out pretty good, 28.2. Now the bottom question is related to it. If that same workload was done in 10 seconds, what is the power? Okay, there's my magic word. Power equals work divided by time. All right, so the same <coughs> excuse me, workload, the workload was 525 joules. It's not that answer right there because that was force. Workload was 525 joules. It says the same workload, 525 joules was done in 10 seconds. 525 divided by 10, 52.5, 52.5 the answer and it is in watts. If you got those, congratulations. Work and power, plugging numbers into formulas, reading the questions carefully, finding the information, and solving it on your calculator. Congratulations, you've conquered work and power.